welcome to another session of Business and AI uh, Data Science with Dalali. Look, today I'm going to start with a question, okay? And that question is my topic of discussion for today. And that question is, is it time for decision intelligence to take a center stage, okay? Is it time for decision intelligence to take a center stage? Look, in the news, there's a lot of hype about AI. Everybody uses ChatGPT now. We have the Google Gemini. You know, everybody, everybody actually do vibe coding nowadays. You can, you know, even if you're not, you know, a coder, you can go to, you know, an AI tool and describe what you want to do and AI will write code for you. Like, all of these things are in the industry. Everybody's talking about it, right? But here's the thing. It's not really about having a lot of tools or having a lot of algorithms, uh, you know, or having a lot of data that makes, uh, you know, or that increases business outcomes or meaningful business outcomes, okay? It is actually how you use these tools, how you use the data and these tools and your domain knowledge or your intuition to make decisions. That's what actually, uh, you know, drives business outcome. And that really is what decision intelligence does. Okay, so before we we go on, uh, I can I can probably define for you uh, what really is decision intelligence. Okay, well, decision intelligence is a multidisciplinary field that combines you know data, AI, machine learning, statistics, as well as behavioral science, psychology, business intuition you know, business contest, you know, bringing all of that together, human judgment, bringing all of them to uh, all of that together to actually come up with, uh, you know, meaningful decisions that will drive uh, meaningful outcomes. Okay. So that's decision intelligence. It actually bridges the gap between raw data and actionable decisions. Okay. By systematically looking at how decisions are made, modeling, what we call decision inputs and understanding how these different decision inputs will impact your outcome and then picking the right outcome. Okay. So that's decision in intelligence. In short, decision intelligence is the bridge between data insight and meaningful business outcome. So it goes beyond, you know, just like cranking data, you know, building algorithms and all of that. But the thing is that a lot of people are not talking about this. Everybody is talking about AI, you know, everybody is talking about chat GPT. But what about the decision, the decisions that we are going to use those tools to make? And I think that it is time for decision intelligence to actually take the st center stage. And guess what? Only a third of organizations are actually doing decision intelligence properly today. According to research by Gartner, okay, Gartner is a huge and big consulting uh, firm, okay? And their research shows that only a third of organizations are actually doing decision intelligence. But I think it should be more than that, okay? So I'm going to explain to you so that you can actually understand this. I'm going to explain to you differences between what I call the traditional data science or analytics versus decision intelligence okay so what are some of the differences between what i call traditional data science or analytics uh, to uh, decision intelligence so differences between traditional data science and analytics and decision intelligence okay so let's let's talk about some differences number one is that traditional data science or analytics focuses more on generating insights predictions and trends from data okay so of course they get insight and trends you know from data but decision intelligence actually focuses more on making actual decisions based on this data or models and business context so that's one business one big difference okay decision intelligence is always about the final step making the decision based on the data okay and sometimes traditional data analysts actually also help doing that but that's not like the center of most of these you know traditional uh, analytics okay that's number one number two is that traditional data science focuses a lot more on like models and algorithms like regression clustering and all of that and sometimes they are often even isolated from the decision making process whereas actually decision intelligence actually focus on like modeling decisions as a system of input okay and actions and outcomes 
and actually in, incorporating feedback and human judgment into their process so that's another big difference so decision intelligence is more like incorporate human judgment from the on- onset okay bringing actions and outcomes and how how that actually impact decisions okay so that's another difference okay the third one is that actually traditional data science focuses on statistical analysis machine learning creating dashboard and reports but i mean like dashboards are not enough Decision intelligence actually uses decision modeling, you know, if else analysis or what we call scenario analysis, simulations, you know, causal inference, you know, to really understand uh, what is going on and what actions to take, what is the optimal decision. So that's another difference, okay? Um, Of course, data scientists, you know, they interpret results and sometimes they just interpret results to the stakeholders and then hand over the data to the stakeholders to make decisions. But decision intelligence or decision scientists actually focus more on cross-functional collaboration, working together with the stakeholders and actually behavioral scientists and actually make the decision, okay? They make the decision uh, and not the isolated, uh, you know, data creation and dashboarding and, and, and all of that, okay? Finally, uh, one big difference is that decision intelligence is very context aware. Okay, they look at design outcome, they look at company policies, they look at the risk, they look at you know decision quality. Whereas really the uh, you know data science traditionally focus on like you know the accuracy of their model. They are they are looking at you know measures of success. It's often measured by like the model accuracy and all of that. So you see the key point here. Decision intelligence is mostly based on, uh, you know, just bridging the insights and the action, making sure that whatever you are learning, you are using it. And I mean, don't get me wrong here. A lot of data scientists uh, and, you know, business analysts often recommend decisions. But you see, traditionally, that's not like the major thing that, you know, data scientists and decision, uh, uh, you know, analysts do, right? But decision intelligence is really, really, really focused on the core of decision making, understanding the various components, modeling that and making sure that, uh, you know, everything we learn from data is is combined with human judgment, is combined with business risk, business rules, uh, you know, and be be implemented into, into decision, okay? So, I hope this is very clear, but in fact, in order to even make this clearer, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, some very simple examples, okay, of, uh, you know, decision intelligence and traditional statistical analysis or data science, okay? Now, let's say you are predicting customer chain. What traditional data science will do is they will actually focus on, like, what customers are likely to churn, okay? They will do their prediction, and then they end there. But decision intelligence will go further and decide, okay, which of these customers are important for us to to retain and what can we do to actually retain them. So that's clearly decision intelligence. They will know which specific customers uh, we want to target and retain and what what should we do, you know, what are the various ways we can target them, what is the optimal way to do that, okay? That's a very simple example, okay? Another example is in demand forecasting. So traditional data science or analytics can forecast and predict the future of inventory and all of that right but decision intelligence will go a step further and understand and decide what inventory level should we keep for each product to make them optimal okay thinking about the user patterns seasonality and all of that so again it goes to the last end of prescriptive analytics so in fact one of the key components of decision science is actually doing prescriptive analytics and optimization well if you have not learned about the, the various types of uh, analytics i have done a video about that so i'm going to link it here for you as well okay and then another example is in credit scoring in loan applications we do a lot of data science in scoring everybody and their uh, risk profile who is likely to default and all of that right basically Traditional data science will just give you the loan, uh, you know, different applicants and then their credit scores, okay? But decision intelligence will go further to say, okay, who to approve, 
who do not approve and what are the risks and what the strategy uh, around that okay so i hope this this uh, three examples have helped let me actually put in the fourth one which is on marketing campaign so you may actually have a predictive model traditional data science to actually identify top performing marketing campaigns okay and then and then end there but no you are not making the real right decision yet okay to actually do this uh, in in a way of decision intelligence you have to go further and understand how do i allocate the budget okay among all these different top performing campaigns and which audience uh, you know are better for what campaigns and how can i actually allocate this budget to ma maximize my return on investment or minimize my waste okay so this these are very simple examples and again my point of the video is like many people are not talking about this everybody is talking about like all the algorithms all the data and all of that so uh, i hope this video is very clear but in the next video i'm going to talk more about why i think this is even more than ever the most important time for uh decision intelligence to take the center stage so uh see you in the next video bye bye